Hey, 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 cheers to a new year. Guys, Sublimation 101 Gradient Color Frosted Beer Mug with thumb rest handle so it doesn't slide off as you see. Yes, you can put them in the freezer. Yes, they're 100% sublimatable. And yes, they come in different colors. Come on over, let's look. You've got your blue, green, pink, orange, and red. How fun and fast is it easy to make? Come on over, I'm gonna show you. So guys, I'm gonna do a world's most awesome lover for Valentine's Day. What a better one to use. I'm simply gonna take two pieces of heat tape, about a half inch each. Remember guys, when you put heat tape on, always go vertical with it. You get stronger coverage, number one. Number two, do not cover the tape onto your transfer area. And number three, always leave a bleed. This way the transfer has a stopping point. Our mugs from sublimation101.com, they come pre-wrapped as you see. If you purchase them too, you get uh, the gift box with it. So that's kind of telling you as my end finisher to sell them into pairs. So I, I pinched it because you're going to notice that there's a center right here. That's where your seam line is. And all you're gonna do is line that up with your center point and you're done. Make sure it's nice and straight at the top and your bottom will be straight. The cool part I'm gonna show you is inside. Notice how you can see through, but watch the color as we start to sublimate. I'm gonna set the Sublimation 101 mug press at 350. 380 for 60 seconds. Notice we have a dual pressure control. That's This mug press is designed for tapered mugs as well. And push the start button. Now, when I show you the inside as we're pressing along, you're gonna love it. The reason we wanted to show you that was we wanted to show you the color, how it beams through the coating onto the glass, permeating itself right into the frosting on the mug, as well as the polymer coating on it. So guys, you'll pretty much know it's pretty much at its finale when you see the color back there. Look how beautiful it came vibrant right through. You're simply going to hit the timer on your mug press. You're going to open it up. Now this is an air cool mug. Now remember, when you're working with frosted drinkables, do not scratch on the frosting. Either let it cool down to peel off or do exactly what I'm doing by doing it right onto the paper revealing our beautiful, brilliant image. This is Michael Kaminsky, Sublimation 101, a.k.a. Sublimation101.com with another how-to tip.